Hello, this is your Congressman Michael Burgess. We are facing an unprecedented threat to our global health system. Ebola, an infectious and deadly virus, is spreading rapidly among patients in Western Africa. You've likely heard of this virus before, not because it was widespread, but because it is so deadly amongst those it infects. Patients who become infected often die within weeks. There is no cure, and it is easily transmittable. Despite the dreadful symptoms and the deadly nature of the virus, Ebola historically was relatively easily contained. Since it was first discovered in the early 1970s, only a few hundred people were infected. Each time there was an outbreak of a few people, it was controlled and eliminated. But in the past few months, a major outbreak has infected and claimed the lives of thousands of people in Western Africa. The size and scope of this outbreak is the largest ever documented and it is growing by the day. This week, President Obama spoke from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta and described his plan to send 3,000 troops to Liberia, which is ground zero for Ebola. Our military will be responsible for setting up hospitals and treatment facilities and training personnel and medical care. This will be the largest international response in the history of the Centers for Disease Control. Many have argued that these measures are extreme. As a physician, I would argue that they are important. The death toll is approaching 2,500 and it is climbing every day. The treatment centers in Africa are completely overwhelmed. People are dying in the streets. Their public health system is near total collapse. This isn't just Africa's problem. If their economies break down, if it becomes a global security threat and a worldwide economic disaster, it will affect every one of us on this side of the Atlantic. On the positive side, we have the knowledge and the ability to fight this disease. Indeed, the United States government has been researching and in a way preparing for this virus and the treatment of this virus for 25 years. We are sending the best and brightest to confront this deadly virus before it gets measurably worse. This is not a political issue. The president's response, while people can argue, it seems to be the best we can do with what we have today. There is precedent for dealing with an, an overseas crisis. We reacted successfully following the earthquake in Haiti in 2010. And we will be successful this time as well. As always, I welcome your questions and your comments on this issue. Thank you for taking the time to listen. May God bless you and your family. And as always, may God bless Texas.